Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over how we can make a simple return on investment calculator using Python functions. This can be useful whenever you're looking to purchase rental properties or any other investment you may have in mind. So let's jump right in. To get started, we want to use a text editor. I use Atom for all my tutorials, but you can use whatever you would like. The first thing we want to do is establish the variables that we want to use. I'm going to assume that I'm purchasing a rental property, so I'm going to name my variables in that way but you can alter this script to whatever you would like for your own purposes. So for mine, I'm gonna put in investment, rent, and then loss. I'll go back in and fill these in later. Next, we wanna define the function. To do this, we type in def, the function name, parentheses, and then any variables that we wanna to pass to the function. So I wanna pass the variables that I've already established above, rent, and then loss and then end it with a parentheses and then a colon. Next, we want to put in the equations that this function will use. The return on investment is calculated by the net profit divided by the investment times 100. We can calculate our net profit by establishing a net profit variable using the rent term that we've already defined times the number of months in a year minus the loss factor. The investment part of the equation doesn't need to be touched because the investment amount is just the capital cost of the building. So now we can type in ROI is equal to net profit divided by the investment times 100. Finally, to end our function, we need to make sure that we print this new variable. Now that the function is taken care of, we just need to put in values for our variables at the top of the script. Let's say we're looking to purchase a house that costs $40,000. And we think that we can rent this house for $700 a month. And now let's say that there may be cost of around $1,000 per year in repairs and vacancies. Once the variables are taken care of, we just need to call our function in the Python script. We can do this by dropping down to the bottom of the script and calling the function. We also need to pass in the parameters of the function that we've defined. So ours were investment, rent, and then loss. Once you have all this, you can save your script, open up a terminal, and then call your function. You can call your function by typing in Python3, the name of your function, and executing it. I see I've made a little mistake in my print call. This needs to be lowercase, and then I'm going to resave my script. Trying again, we see that we get the value of 18.5 returned. This is the calculated return on investment for these parameters. But let's say we want to change these parameters. So say you're looking to buy a house that's 60,000 now instead of 40,000. You just type this in, save it, and then you can execute the script again. And that's pretty much it. If this was your first Python script, I strongly encourage you to practice and play around with it. There's so many different things that you can do. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video.